How do we catch that feeling of wish fulfilled? We're going to talk about that tonight. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of Higher Consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Guys, welcome back. Another um, manifesting the Neville Got It way, another lesson uh, talking about the idea of catching the feeling. The first thing I, I want to say about this is we've got to stop waiting around for God to do something. We're still feeling some separation there, even if we're starting to feel that I am within us, that Christ in you, right? Matt, no, if, you're cert- if, if you really are starting to believe that imagination is Christ and imagination in Christ is in you as that I am awareness, we're still feeling a little bit of separation that your I am awareness is separate from God's I, wear- I am awareness. And there is no separation, guys. Stop waiting for God to do something. You are the I am. You have been given it all. You have full, uh, full unlimited powers that God has given you with this I am awareness. Yeah, Jesus said it. You can do what I do and more. Why did he say that? Because you have that I am awareness. You have that, that connection with God. You are that I am awareness. There, are, there is no separation of anything in the world, right? But especially this because... You, if you're waiting around for it, guys, it will never happen. You've got you've to you've make that declaration. Claim it. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am passionate. I am loving. Yes? I am peaceful. I am exciting. Whatever you're going to make the declaration, that's who you are. I am successful. You've got to do that. It's your job. Know that it's done. As soon as you do that, as soon as you get into that feeling space, occupy that space of wish fulfilled. Thinking from the end, creating an event that, that would happen if, if you were there, as if you were there. The details. Once you construct the end, the, 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 the end wills the means. It happens, right? God does this work. I am is the Christ in you. That's your imagination. Don't look for it outside of yourself at all, right? So even if there's still a little bit separation there, we know that, that, that when we're in our physical bodies, we are, um, we are persuaded by this reality. We are convinced. We, we, it's hard to ignore our senses. It's hard to, we're born of flesh, right? We're born of limitation. It's hard to rise to that higher level, to that higher you. But... But it's only hard if you declare it hard, right? If you make the decision, I am that higher me, I am that spirit, then it's done. So it's only difficult if you make it difficult. Lighten up, know that it's done, allow it. You have that power. You have that power to make things dark or make things light, make things easy or make things hard. It's all in your hands. That greater consciousness gives gives back to you feelingly what you impress upon it. it goes back to you feelingly what you what is pressed upon it right what you impress upon it so what are you going to impress upon it with that i am awareness what are you going to decide unite become the one the one the wish that you desire become one with that supply with that source become one with that awareness the, the, we keep thinking the supply, the source of everything that we want is outside of ourselves, but it's within us. So you've got, to, you've got to become one with that. Once you're one with the supply, one with the source, you don't have to look outside yourself. It's already there. You simply got to allow it. All the wealth, health, and happiness is already inside you. It's already there. Right? The supply is not outside you. That God, I am awareness, is not outside you. So you are it, you are everything, and you have everything right now. You are everything, and you have everything right now. That greater consciousness will give it back to you, what you feelingly impress upon it. You decide, right? We're born of flesh, I get it, the limitation. It's hard to ignore this reality all around us. But it's only hard if we say it's hard, if we declare it's hard. We get to decide what's easy and what's hard. We get, to be reborn again is the idea that you're reborn of spirit, right? We're born of flesh, but the whole idea of being reborn is being reborn of spirit, of that I amness, 
That's the idea of being reborn, right? Rising higher to that higher level of consciousness, that higher concept of yourself. That's what's being reborn, right? We're born of flesh physically, but we can be reborn of spirit anytime that you attain that uh, higher consciousness by declaring that I amness of who you are. I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am happy. This is all within your power. <clears throat> You're wholly unlimited. So stop waiting around for God as if it's something outside of you. We've talked about this many times, but even if you believe that your I am, this is somehow smaller, lesser than that, it's not, it is the same, right? Of course, my father and I are one, my father is greater than I, yes, because the conceiver, the conceiver is always greater than the conceived, but it's the same connection, the same power. It's the same God. You are connected. You have that. God has given you all, guys, to, to be, do, or have whatever you want. Stop waiting around. Claim the feeling now. Claim that feeling of wish fulfilled. What would it feel like? Who would congratulate you? Would it be a phone call? Would it be a dinner? Who would you be talking to? Who's the first person you would confide in? What would they say to you if you already had, if you already were that person you wanted to be, or you already had that thing that you want to possess? What would be the event? Once you seed that, once you create, do that creative act, it's done. And then you can turn back to the physical uh, reality with your senses and know that it's already been, the seeds have been planted and that it will come, it will manifest. This is the power of that God in you. This is the power of that I am awareness. You're wholly unlimited. Start using it, guys. It's a, it's a beautiful thing, yeah? We'll talk more about this. This is what I wanted to talk. I want to talk about catching that feeling. Catch it, guys. Catch that feeling. This is Tom Karen with Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, share and like the videos. That's how we get our message out. I'll talk to you soon. This is Tom. Bye-bye.